You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And this is episode 17. Yes. And uh, we got a go home show for Evolution. Sure. And a go home show for the Raw before <laughs> Crown Jewel, <laughs> if it even takes place. Oh, man. Because it really. It always feels like they're pushing, and we talked about this last week. Mm-hmm. It does seem like they're pushing it harder, but then again, it's but because they make, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so so there's only two logical places to have it. One is the desert, and two is full sail. And just turn all the lights off or something like that. And then you said dress up all the people yes. from Florida. Yep. And, <laughs> and they're, Saudi Arabia attire. Yeah, exactly. I mean. <sighs> If anybody can pull it off, it's the WWE. No, they could very easily <laughs> just have it somewhere else. Yeah, I know. But there's been so many rumors. So many. But the problem is it's so <clears throat> close to the event now. Right. And it's not like they can discreetly do it. No. And it's been the one thing that they've been promoting so heavily. Unless they have exclusively empty arena matches. Ooh. Like The Rock versus Mankind during Fantastic. the Super Bowl. Fantastic. That was, that was the best. I feel like, and I could be wrong, it might not translate as well this time. Obviously not. <laughs> Wait, when did that happen? Like 98 probably? I would assume uh, 90, 99 probably. It, 99 or 2000. Right. It could have been 2000 because it was for the WWE. So my 14 or 15 year old self was uh, mm-hmm. much happier back then yeah. watching wrestling than I am now. So It's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah that's a big shocker though considering i know you know how easy it is to believe stuff when you're a little kid it's true so it's true and they didn't have the internet really that much to and uh, they ruin, ruin everything my, <laughs> ruin my mind yeah multiple ways <sighs> uh-huh oh the internet yeah so we'll, we'll get to evolution maybe at some point yeah here. i don't know only really one thing actually happened and another weird thing happened there was a couple things that happened. I mean, I guess well, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just yeah, we'll, start off with the Roman thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Roman comes, Roman in, comes yeah. out wearing jeans. That was really my big... You know, like, they had so much opportunity. Like, him just coming out. He uh-huh. looks like a cool guy. You know, he just... Oh, so you mean if if he had worn street clothes more often, it would be... I, I just, you know, it would have given some depth to the character. I just I feel guess, like... It, I guess that it, makes It sense. just felt like so much, re- you know, I guess... It, they were trying too hard. I think that's really what it was. His his vest and his gauntlets were, like, with John Cena and his colorful shirts and hats. Right. So they try but, to get people you know, to buy the stuff. Maybe that had, you know, maybe he had input on it, you know? Who knows? It's possible. Yeah, I don't who know. knows? But it, it just, you know. Obviously, we knew something was up when we saw him come out like that. Because yeah. that was my first thing. I was mm-hmm. like, hmm. He's not wearing a vest. No. Well, sometimes he wears like a tank top. <clears throat> yeah. But usually he'll be wearing his like combat pants mm-hmm. or whatever. <clears throat> anyway. And, well, I had spoke to you Monday afternoon and said that, you know, Roman wasn't on the house shows that he was advertised for mm-hmm. over the weekend. So everything was just very... Uh, very strange at this point. I figured when you said that it was just a lie. No, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. people just said that he wasn't... Yeah. It's like, oh, look, something's going on. Right. Obviously, uh, something yeah, did. something was, was going, going on. on and, uh, people do like to stir stir a little stuff up. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Yeah, so... So, Roman comes out, very somber tone, and announces that he has been... Or, he was battling leukemia when he was 22. Yep. Which was probably like a decade ago. Yeah, it was I something think. like I think that's what he said ten or um, years and ago. And it has unfortunately come back. Yep. And uh, so he needs to take time off to like deal with it, obviously, and be with his family and try yep. to recover. And uh, he said that by no means is this a retirement speech. He just means that he's going to be back eventually. And uh, don't forget about him, pretty much. Yeah, that was. Uh... Just trying not to end it on a sad note, you yeah. know? I mean, because um, this is quite possibly the last time we could see Roman in a ring. It is possible, yeah. but knowing him, I'm sure he'll, at the very least, give it a, yep. give it a doll, for sure. <clears throat> Absolutely. Just um, crazy that... No idea. Nope. Not a clue. Mm-mm. Actually, somebody had posted an article on Reddit. I guess it was back to like a 2014 or 15 article 
talking about his high school, uh, or his football career, mm. and then saying he was battling some sort of illness. But it never went into detail yeah. what it was. Mm-hmm. But they, you know, so there was some something known back then, obviously, yeah. probably well, by sure. close people and stuff. Yeah, I was like gonna that. say, I'm sure there's people who knew. Yeah, it's just a matter of you know it mm-hmm. being public knowledge. Um, but I mean the you know the support for Roman was absolutely uh, fantastic. Yeah, as soon as as soon as the fans figured out what was going on, yeah. they this was not a part of the show. No. He uh he said that I'm not Roman Reigns, I'm just a guy named Joe, mm-hmm. which really kind of made it clear what was really going on. Absolutely. <laughs> um and the fans were very supportive and uh he had to relinquish the the universal yeah, title because he said he, you know he's always said that he was the person that shows up every week mm-hmm. and so on and so forth but he's not gonna be able to do that so yep. that was... so he uh he finishes his speech he walks up the ramp and yeah uh, seth and dean meet him mm-hmm. at the top of the ramp and they all embrace they're all crying seth really oh yeah he seth lost is it. bad yeah um and then uh but yeah the three of them do one last uh fist thing i don't know what they call it or at least one last for now yeah and, and then they go into the back and uh that was it yeah and then we got uh what did they show it on wwe.com exclusive or whatever yeah it was on i, I saw it on youtube yeah and it just kind of followed roman out as he said you know goodbye to everybody triple yeah. h Shawn michaels finn yeah everybody else mm-hmm. back there and they followed him to his uh, vehicle, which yes. he was like, don't, don't follow me out here. I didn't even go with this a great, uh, great vehicle. Yep. So, But it was, it was a nice video on top of the, the send-off that yeah. he got. Absolutely. So it was good. We're going to miss him for sure. I've always been a fan yeah. of Roman Reigns. Yeah, absolutely. So. Like, I, I don't understand his booking sometimes, but I've never held that against him. No, you, yeah, you can't. So. You can't. They are all people just mm-hmm. doing their job. It's true. Um, so, I mean, the rest of the show I thought was was pretty good. Yeah. Um, well, the, like, we had the matchup next was Balor versus Lashley, and this mm-hmm. was actually, it had a reason to happen because we saw that little... Uh, altercation. Yeah, altercation between before. last week. Um, um, because Lashley was kind of showing up Finn because right. he came out while Finn was celebrating his victory. Mm-hmm. Um, Leo Rush. Holy shit. I saw the uh, earpiece in th- this week. Oh, he, I noticed it. He had it in his left so ear. So that just means Vince is telling him <clears> when to start. Probably. Uh, I mean, the camera was mostly on his right side, but once he turned a little bit, I saw it in his ear. So. Yeah. Somebody's feeding him lines. Yeah, which is just Lashley over and over again. <laughs> Lashley. Lashley. Yeah. It, anyway. was, it was so much better when he was a good guy. <laughs> it, and it makes no sense because he's literally he's no different. Just calling. being irritating. Yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. So, but, but whatever. Finn ends up going over here. Yep. Rolling him up. Um, we did. Uh, we got some more interaction with Braun and Drew uh-huh. earlier on. It, I, this definitely is a good indication that what's going to happen mm-hmm. after Crown Jewel will right. be Drew versus Braun. Right. Right. Yeah. So they announced later on in the evening, I think, because they finally decided. All right. Now we should talk about the title that it's was so laid in dumb. the ring. It makes it seem like, oh, Roman kind of just threw this on us at the last minute. <laughs> we didn't know what to do. Yeah, they were saying Stephanie and Corbin were trying to figure out what to do, which is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's really the the big uh, pol- difference between when you were a kid watching mm-hmm. and all of a sudden it's like, no, I, I know they have yeah. a script back there yeah. and everything. <laughs> Don't um, give me this shit. <laughs> so with the news, or I should say, I had no reason to believe that Roman wasn't keeping the title at Crown Jewel. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, sure. I was hoping that once the announcement made that he was going to relinquish the title, that they would just scrap that match altogether. Mm-hmm. No brawn, no Brock, nothing. And just do something that made sense. Like give it to Finn. Mm-hmm. Give it to Seth. Now I'm going to put it back on Brock. <laughs> we did joke about that. There's still a good possibility oh, no, a that good there chance. is. It's a 50-50 chance. It really I is. Really there's, I, don't, so. I don't feel confident on either. No. Yeah. But, I mean, all right, so you figure if Braun does go over, which he absolutely should. Yes. Um, well, it, in this case, yes, definitely true. You have a storyline built up. Mm-hmm. But 
I think because, that there's a chance. Like, no, I'm just going to say something right. real quick. I think there's a very good chance that they're going to be like, you know, Heyman talked about Brock being a dual sport champion. We like You know, that. we have the opportunity without hurting anybody. Yeah. It was like Fox, this is a rumor, told WWE they want their show to be less comedy and more sport-like when they oh go. Oh, my to, God. That's going to be bad. So, that's the good part about wrestling. It, it, it's got to have its balance. That's, yeah. It definitely does. Because if it's just if it's just competitive, you're going to get more stuff like what happened last night on SmackDown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that was bad. Yeah, it was boring. So. Um, so, I don't know even now. Oh. You're talking about Braun right. setting up. A- and, I mean, I, I think they're, they've booked McIntyre as an intelligent heel, mm-hmm. so he wouldn't do something stupid like cost Braun the match, you know, yeah. and, and have brock pick it up and then Uh, all of a sudden well we're back to well mcintyre could come out after the match (laughs) right right that would make sense because clearly um mcintyre has it out for braun and vice versa Uh and mcintyre is not afraid granted if there's one person on the raw roster that shouldn't be afraid of brock like has a right to not be afraid of braun Mm -hmm. it is mcintyre right um absolutely and i think that's a good and i mean when you need to transition the title eventually off of McIntyre, he was beat by Bobby Roode, right? Didn't Roode beat? No, he he beat Roode for the title. Yeah, yeah. He lost. He didn't. He, he didn't lose. To, he got hurt. No, he lost to oh, Andrade. He did, yeah, he didn't lose to Andrade. He got hurt <laughs> during that match. that match. But I think the plan was originally no, to drop was. the title. Yeah, because they were going to move him right up. Yep. Um, so yeah, the guy we haven't seen on SmackDown in weeks now. <laughs> also, haven't seen Joe. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's what's really hurt SmackDown is. This week was just our former stars or our stars that we were just kind of relying on. Uh-huh. We didn't get that, you know, the newer talent and stuff like that, or newer piece. Like Joe, I mean, he's he hasn't done much. No, you know, he's a know. joke. <laughs> he is a joke. It's bad. But, I mean, just different stuff. Mm. We got no our truth oh, man. If only that was Truth TV <laughs> instead of Miss TV. That was funny. Oh, that was good. Um, that was good. So, anyway... Yeah, we'll get to McIntyre that. McIntyre went monster hunting. Mm-hmm. That's basically uh, the gist of oh, what did that... Oh, you see how Chris Jericho has a new show? I think it's called, like, Monster Hunter or something like that. Really? Yeah. It's on, like, Travel Channel or something like that. I think it premiered last night. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, was it announced on Monday about the six-woman tag for Evolution? I think it, it was announced either before or after this match. Yeah. Uh, Because we had Sashi versus Sashi, Sasha versus Ruby, Mm -hmm. Um, and Ruby wins because uh, the Bailey and Natalia both got knocked out Mm -hmm. outside. Then Sasha knocks out both Liv and Logan without really trying. And then she she walked back back in and got a riot kick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So yeah, so it's going to be Natalia, Becky, Bailey, and Sasha versus the Riot Squad at Evolution, Mm -hmm. a match that could have been on main event. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, uh, just I was hoping when Sasha and Bailey were excluded from that battle royal that they'd actually do something. Just have a good good match based on sportsmanship whatever something just something give us anything no I, I, I mean let's be honest here just the representation is it's poor. it's piss poor yeah it really is we've had july since july to book this show mm-hmm. yeah because what was uh SummerSlam? was ronda and bliss yes and then it was becky and charlotte and yes. carmella yes so i mean it's not like mm-hmm. It feels like everything got put together two weeks ago. Yeah. And, and like some of the feuds have obviously been going on. Right. And, you know, they made it a point to be obviously past, present, and future. The only women that have any match outside of the Battle Royal that were legends is Trish and Lita. Mm-hmm. That's and it. they might have a match against Mickey James and Alicia Fox. Yes. Why did Alicia Fox look like she towered over everybody on Monday she's night? She's a lot taller. She's that than much all of taller? Them. Well, you got to remember that the Trish and Lita are not very tall. Because um, they're all pretty much the same height. I think Alita's and, a little taller. And Alicia's but... almost as tall as Gender. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, right. and Gender. She towers huge. over the Sing Brothers. Yeah. yeah. So, she's just an extremely tall woman. Yeah. 
We didn't see Jinder this week, did we? We did not, which is fine. <laughs> we don't need to see him. They should turn him face. Why? I don't know. I just like, because when we watched the table for three last week with... Uh, oh, yeah. The if they did bring MB. back the three-man band, I guess <laughs> You I'd can't do it. that with uh, heel McIntyre. Though. Yeah, it doesn't need to be. McIntyre doesn't need to be a heel. I, I think they should definitely do a comedy skit if, you know, Drew wins the title or something like that. You have all three of them on Raw. That's true. You have no, Ethan and Jinder. I'm like, it's come ba- on, man. As soon as Dolph Ziggler's gone and uh, McIntyre's on his own... It's got to happen. Yeah, I, I would assume. So I think that they've been so focused on this feud, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, McIntyre really... Everything's been entangled in the feud. All the titles. Yeah, McIntyre hasn't had a spot where mm-hmm. he's just there on his own. That's true. So, um, but yeah, I could definitely see that happening. So I'll, we'll talk about this first. The uh, Fatal 4-Way women's match that was two minutes oh. long. <laughs> Well, it turned into them just trying to throw each other over the top rope. <laughs> Jesus. Why? Yep, and then Ember wins. Yeah, at least the right person went yeah, over. Yeah, that's true. But it was Nia, Dana Brooke, Tamina, and Ember. Yeah, and it looked like Dana Brooke had lost some weight. Should, I dude, guess. For, for videos. She, she, but she's then very deceptive looking because I guess the way her gear fits her. Yeah, I don't know. Because she always looks like she's chunkier than she yeah. is. Because when she wears her gear, she looks chunky, but if she was, like, wearing other clothes when she was with Titus Worldwide, she mm. looked fine. Yeah, I guess that's true. It was oh, very like strange. the suit, the business. The, yeah, it was yeah. very strange. Okay. But um, So we had the little confrontation last week with Apollo and Elias. We mm. actually got a match this week. We there did. you go. It's true. We got, you know, something to roll over into next week. Yeah. We just hit the repeat button, changed it up just a little bit. Yep. Elias goes over, so that, this was going nowhere. Yeah. Um, and then after the match, because Elias tried to play a song mm-hmm. and Apollo interrupted him. After the match, after he wins, he goes back to the stage and tries to play a song again. This time, Corbin interrupts him and mm. tells him that we haven't we don't, we don't have any time for <laughs> you. Right. Let's bring out Shane McMahon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should put Elias on SmackDown. It'll have plenty of time for him. It's true. Um, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. It it would work. It would. Yeah. That's the that's the real show, so mm. it kind of makes sense. It's true. Um, so, it's too entertaining, though. So, so Corbin tells him to go away. Elias goes into the back, grabs a, a worked guitar. And smashes Corbin over the back with it. Yeah. Face so. turned for Elias. And Renee said she's never seen a guitar <laughs> smash like that before. It's because it wasn't a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that uh, That one was really bad. Because normally... Oh, just... I was watching the WTF moments, and I think, right, he made a reference to uh, Jeff Jarrett yes. not trying a time. Yeah. <laughs> so clearly no one was watching back then, I guess. Oh, uh, good stuff. Um... But yeah, so Elias, uh, I like it. I think you're thinking too much into this. I probably am, but you, granted, anyone that has any beef with Corbin is automatically going to be the face. So people love to hate Corbin. That's true. Can't say I blame him. Mm-hmm. Uh, no authors of pain this week. So oh. and no that. small man dressed nope. up in a in a flak jacket. I was going to say no Bobby Roode, but him and Chad Gable faced the revival on main event. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Well. Yeah, that's that. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, we had the contract signing. Uh, this was not that bad. I was in the bathroom for this. It still was not that bad. So, <laughs> Ronda comes out, uh, and so do the Bellas, obviously. I mean, I saw the slap, and I think that was yeah. all that really Well, because the Bellas didn't want to go to the ring, and Ronda said that it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to wait until Sunday, mm. and then I'm going to destroy you. Um, <laughs> then Nikki slaps her, expecting... Uh, I guess some, yeah, which mm-hmm. is stupid. I don't know why you would choose to do that. So, Rhonda just grabs a microphone, signs or signs the contract, grabs her microphone. It's like I'm not going to do anything now, but on Sunday I will end you. Yeah. And then the the bellows are like, uh, they kind of like <laughs> frozen in the ring. Rhonda goes to leave, and that's the point. We didn't get a table flip though. We'll always get some sort of table flip during a contract. I signing. guess so. Oh well, need something else. But mm-hmm. It's fine. Yeah, um, but that, yeah, it's just, the build has been so bad. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, speaking of bad. I don't, I don't just mean this match in general. I just I, mean, yeah, for the overall, pay-per-view. Yeah. Honestly, this is probably one of the better things they're doing. Yeah, SmackDown was just 
Yeah. Well, we'll, well you made a good point. It was only building to one match. Yeah, so. that's all. We'll, um, we'll get to that. Yeah. So we had a backstage segment with Trish and Lita being well, interviewed about yeah, the match. Yeah, we talked about this briefly. Well, did we? Yeah. We, you just, we I just, just said mentioned bad. it. Well, Didn't yeah, we really. said that we might see Alicia Fox. and. Nikki. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. all we said. Yeah. But that was because, I guess, Alexa Bliss may have suffered a concussion over the weekend. Or a broken a match nose, one with or the other. Ronda. Yeah. Yeah. Which so, um, twice. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. You hear shit all the time. Somebody gets hurt in the match with somebody else, mm-hmm. you know. All of a sudden, the golden Go girl. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> uh, so, they're having an interview. And Alicia Fox comes over screaming. And then uh, they tell her to go away, pretty much. And then Mickey comes over. They start beating them up. And then Trish and Lita leave. And then they come back and they start meeting. They say, "Oh, this is how we do it in the attitude." Oh right? yeah, it was bad. It's stupid. It was bad. Stupid. Uh, so if Bliss isn't cleared to wrestle, this is gonna be a bad. They should just make it... Just do Mickey versus Trish and have Lita as a referee or something like that. Well, it wouldn't make any sense because it was supposed to be I know, Lita I mean, versus Mickey. Yeah, yeah. Although Mickey versus Trish would make sense because it's a callback to... Yeah. But, whatever. Lita, or, you can or just they be could, on commentary. Or they could have... Um, who would make sense? Because none of the returning people would make sense. Maybe uh, Michelle McCool. Yeah. That would only be the only one that makes sense. Because she was always a heel. Yeah. So, whatever. Or yeah. a laundry place. There you go. Because she's going to be doing a lot. <laughs> she's not going to be doing a lot. <laughs> All right. Main event. Well, actually, I wanted to very quickly touch on oh the old men. God. DX came out to sell more merch. And then the the old men, the other old men, uh, Undertaker and Kane, said that they made graves for dx they're mm-hmm. gonna bury him yep i know it wasn't important but it happened they don't... <sighs> whatever you got it we gotta mention it yeah i guess so yeah, it was tri- it was something about nostalgia sense. and being old yeah and being better mm-hmm. and this and that yep it just it was bad yeah there's no point we don't and, need it and it was funny because i didn't notice it when it was happening but with Shawn michaels having his hands in his pockets when uh mm-hmm. when the when the when the lights went out because Triple H is like all ready for, mm-hmm. and Strong Michael's just sitting there with his hands in his pockets, like he's like do do do. So that was funny. Yeah. Um, and then, like you said, we're on to our main event. There we go, tag title match. <laughs> in the main event of Raw. Yes. Generally speaking, when this happens, there is a title change. Generally, <laughs> especially speak- considering what happened earlier on the night with Roman. The last week wasn't in the main event, right? Nope. Yeah. No, uh, SmackDown, I'm talking about. That tag title change. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was in the main yeah. event. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Last week, the main event was uh, Rey Mysterio versus oh, Nakamura. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So. Yep, yep. Uh, so, yeah, Dolphin Drew defending against Dean and Seth. Mm-hmm. It was a good match. Yeah, it was pretty standard. Yeah. We've seen enough of these four. Th- this match has happened many, 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 times. many, many times. Yes. So, Braun's music hits. Um, and then the, the, the ref took a bump. I think Seth knocked them down and they fell out of the ring. Something like that. Um, so Braun runs down the ring, chases McIntyre into the crowd. So they disappear. It's like, Oh, it's done. Um, that's it. So what was it? Imagine if they had Dolph go over. Yeah, that would, that would have just been disaster. <laughs> uh, um, oh yeah. Seth hits the stomp. Yep. Dean throws the ref back into the ring. Mm-hmm. Count to three. And they won the titles for Roman. Yep. And then... Dean turns, hits the Dirty Deeds on Seth. And uh, apparently he didn't like being called the lunatic. Yeah, because Seth kept going, it's okay, Dean, it's all right. Or whatever he was mouthing to him. Like, yep. He was like, I understand. You, yep. you know, you don't know what's going on. You don't know how to react to your uh, emotions here. And this is how you... Yep. And then a lot of people were really upset about this because they were using it being an emotional night with Roman that they did the heel turn and everything like that. Uh, I mean, I think it makes more sense to do it yeah. this way. I mean, it's more of a... And it's not like they're using Roman at all. No, no. Well, I mean, it was because I think they made a point to make it that they were doing, you know, yeah. dedicating this match to Roman or something like I that. I guess, but still, the match was over. 
But I mean, you kind of bring a real life element into here if you go that route with Dean, not knowing how to control his emotions or something like that, and being an actual lunatic because you know real life events do change people. To, it's true. Uh, not Actually. knowing how to cope with the uh, things. Mm-hmm. But That's yeah, true. Dean beats crap out of him. Yep, hits a him lot of very funny fan reactions. <laughs> This was the perfect time to turn. Or you, we were you, we were waiting for you to turn or something like that. Talking yeah. to Dean. And then some, there was like a woman who like like what is going on? <laughs> that was funny. And he, uh... But yeah, it was it was a good uh, a good setup. Yeah, and, I didn't expect it. And the fact that they're the current tag team champions. Yep. So. Or we could just go back next week and everything's fine. It's possible. Yeah, he has that... gone from zero to sixty yeah. before. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, like last week when he was going to beat up Seth, too, yeah. and then it just... It just stopped. So, <laughs> and it's funny, because this, this is exactly what we assumed was going to happen last year. Right. Well, I think that was the original plan. Yeah, so... And it's kinda now they were just like, well, everything's changed up. We might as well do it. Well, we need to get we need to get Braun out of this picture. We're probably going to take right, right. McIntyre out of the picture, so you might as well have a story with them. And you could very easily just find anybody to take the titles off of them. Mm-hmm. So, certainly shouldn't be Drew. I mean, uh, Dolph and anybody. Dolph's gonna be in uh, Corbin's new stable with the uh, Authors of Pain. He'll be his jester. Sure, that works. <laughs> Pretty funny. Him wearing a hat and everything. Yeah, something. Yeah. Because I mean, obvious. Honestly, what is what is there for Dolph to do? Nothing. 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 I mean, he can't even tag with Bobby Roode. Well, he could. I mean, he could, but he's already got Chad Gable. It's true. Oh, yeah, we saw Jason Jordan backstage, too. When yeah, he was he was there, yes. But, but I uh, think they had said that he came back as kind of like a producer, right? I, I guess that's what he was working on, yeah. yeah. So that was the uh, roller coaster that was raw, mm-hmm. and we've talked 25 minutes about it, but yeah, yeah that's all right. Because uh, there's not much to say about SmackDown. It was um, boring. This was the uh, Crown Jewel show. Yeah, pretty much. So we got two matches from four competitors in the uh, Best in the World tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, we got Miz versus Ray and Randy versus Jeff Hardy. Again. And so they haven't mentioned any brackets or anything like that. Uh, the way yeah. this. Mm-hmm. So they these just... matches could potentially happen again. Yeah. Well, they, they said specifically. That this match very well could happen at Crown Jewel both mm-hmm. times. You would think, and I didn't even think of that, that they should have some kind of bracket. Mm-hmm. Um, they could have said, oh, this match will be very unlikely because they're both at opposite ends and they have to go through two different rounds. Which blah, is blah, kind blah. of hard to do considering it's a four per, or an eight person. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because you're going to, if if you don't meet in the first round, you're going to meet in the second, second round. round. Fair enough. So. It, oh, they could have been it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because it, it's they said they said it was going to be SmackDown versus SmackDown until there's only one person left on each side. Oh, so this is a very clearly SmackDown versus Raw thing. Wow. Yeah. So, hmm. how about that? I know. Wow, intriguing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So uh, I guess we're putting a little more heat on the AJ Daniel Bryan thing. Mm. I guess. At least Daniel, Uso's Daniel got Bryan. another win. It's true. Daniel Bryan called um, AJ Pinocchio, mm-hmm. and AJ just couldn't get it. Wait, what do you mean? It was bad. My nose. It was. That's my nose growing. It was. It was, <laughs> it was really bad. Um, uh, yeah. well, thankfully, I slept through that the first yeah. time, but I watched it on YouTube. So. I was going to say, like, like you said, the Usos beat AJ and Daniel Bryan, but mm-hmm. they the opposite way this week, where last week AJ attacked. Daniel, no, 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 Daniel man. Bryan hit Dan- AJ, and this and, time AJ hit him with a Pele kick. Yes. It was a nice sequence. I like the way it was done well, yeah. but... Because AJ went for the phenomenal forearm, mm-hmm. but he stopped himself, and right. then he hit the Pele yeah. kick. So it, it, it works. Mm-hmm. The, the segment just made AJ look like an idiot. That was why it was bad. Oh, That oh, part absolutely. did need to happen. Yeah, no, 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 no. That so, could have just been a WWE exclusive where, yeah. you know, we just kind of put it over there so uh-huh. some people can see it, but we yeah. don't want this out there um uh yeah well we got kofi versus the big show yes which which made sense because oh, it, big that, show did choke slam him through the table this week the, the opening sec the, the first half hour of the show was the show yeah that the remainder I guess that's true the remainder was just not not watchable um <laughs> unneeded yeah 
So the New Day come out, and Kofi's like, I want to fight, and mm-hmm. I don't care who it is. So the bar come out. First, it's Sheamus getting ready for the match. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hold on, hold on. it's not me. It's no, going to be so Cesaro. And then Cesaro's like, no, hold on. It's going to be the big show. Obviously, it was going to be the big Obviously. show. Obviously. So that, whatever. Um, but yeah, big show just goes nuts. Mm-hmm. Choke slams him like four times. Something like that. Um, and then the New Day come into the ring. Right. So does the bar. That match gets thrown out. Yeah. The bar and big show destroy them. Mm. And that was it. Yeah, it's going to be a six-man tag, right, at Crown Jewel? Is nope. that what they... No, it is a they? title rematch. Oh, is it? I thought yeah. it was a six-man. I'm pretty sure it's a title rematch. I mean, that makes more sense, but, you know, we don't even know if it's going to happen. It's true. Uh, what else happened? Um, we had Charlotte at the Performance Center talking to a bunch of women in NXT um, about, I guess, what it takes to be in the WWE, pretty much. This was bad i i liked i liked the idea of it but the fact that she was talking to women who have have plenty of experience and it wasn't like people that were fresh on the job never people that have never wrestled before but some of these are like world traveled athletes. shana baszler a yeah. former nxt champion was there <laughs> um and so was uh was like roderick strong's yeah, wife yeah, yeah. whatever her name is I don't remember. candace was there a couple other people from the may young class yep. it, it was just, like i get what they were going with i liked when becky came in because um you know they obviously brawled yeah but Th- this should have been um a picture thing yeah where they had like stills of something that happened, that happened yeah instead of having it a 10 minute long segment I guess that's where true. charlotte has her speech yeah, I guess that's that completely it. unnecessary. Yeah. Because then you, I forget what was the uh, girl's name. She was in the Mayon Classic who asked her the question yeah, about I, being like, yeah. And it just, it, it was just like, wow. No, it was, it was garbage. Because wh- why? Because I know why. Because they want Charlotte to be the good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they want to. Make oh my Brecky god! When they good. had her have that video after the whole thing transpired, yeah. it was like, oh my god, they're yeah. really, really pushing. It was this so here. bad. Um, yeah, it is a tag title match. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but it was just not, not good. And that was our go home. Yeah. To what's supposed, you know, the big inaugural women's pay per view and uh-huh. all that stuff. Yep. And it was a joke. And uh, the, the none of the women main event at either show. No, uh, I'm okay with that though. I, I guess nothing really warranted. No, being a main absolutely event. not, and especially not on a Raw. Yeah. Raw, Raw didn't. Oh well, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Um, SmackDown could have and it, it but the problem was the way they well, they've already done too many brawl segments like if they did last week's where they or was it two weeks ago where she speared her through the uh yeah. i mean that could have been a good ending segment before the last woman's ending i mean that would have it would have made sense, made sense but, but yeah. like honestly if you compared the two that happened this week the the thing that happened with the rest of the women would have made more sense to end the show than that yeah, I guess. Because so. that, that was so flat. Yeah. Um, what, you're talking about the Becky? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, we'll, we'll mention that now. Um, so Naomi and Oscar are supposed to have a tag match against Mandy and Sonya. So they all come out, and then immediately after, the Iconics come out. They start saying, oh, well, we're going to be great, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then uh, we're going to win the Battle yep. Royal. Then Lana came out, uh-huh. and then Carmella came out, and then all the women fought. And- yeah. Asuka stood tall. I forgot who she took out last. Was it Car- No. I don't know. I it was Carmella. Maybe. It wasn't important. No. But th- that's what I mean, though. But like, that, that would make more sense then. Yeah, the yeah, I guess. But, I mean, the Battle Royale is really not the big thing. Well, I mean, the winner gets a future title shot. Yeah. Which, like, like we were saying earlier, that this is just an easy way to get somebody a title shot. We're thinking, what, Ember? to uh, well, would make the most yeah. sense give give them a t- title shot without them looking bad in right. the process of losing right 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 so well we'll talk about it on our predictions video yes. um uh ch- 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 oh, then the useless shane spot he just came out to promote crown jewel yep. and well it was just the tournament right yep and the evolution pay-per-view but yeah he said he something said, about the evolution pay-per-view it. and then he talked about the crown jewel thing just a waste of time that's true 
Um, Rusev destroyed Aiden English. Yeah, we thought this was actually going to go somewhere. Nope. No? Aiden English has been squashed. Yep. Like Bug. Bug. I mean, <laughs> if this was their way of writing him off TV, so to speak, I wouldn't be honestly surprised. Nope, not it's at just all. the way. It just, mm-hmm. I, I don't know where you go with him from Nowhere. here. Nowhere. Um, then we got Miz TV with a special guest Rey Mysterio. Um, Miz asked Mysterio why he came back, and apparently he knew the answer already because mm-hmm. he didn't even let uh, Ray answer. He says that he wants to be back to be the best and prove himself, blah, blah, blah. The usual and, nonsense. And then Ray tells him to shut up, and he says that we should fight. And then mm-hmm. Miz is like, oh, well, I'm not having a match. Like, why would I wrestle you? And then they come back from commercial. Hey, it's a match. <laughs> You could have even just brought Paige out and said, you know what, I like that idea. I don't think Paige was there. Uh, yeah, probably not. Yeah, because uh, she didn't show up at all. Um, and then Ray obviously wins that match. Yeah, that match went on forever. Yeah, but again, it was a show where nothing happened. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I'm, you know, it was a decent match, but... Jeff, or- Jeff versus Orton wasn't that good. No. But it was not that long. No. It was like 10 minutes long, which yeah. is nice. But I like because, when the SmackDown main events are short. Well, you don't have that overflow, so you're not like, what time is this going to be over? Yep. Why is it quarter after 11? And yep. this is still going on. Uh, yeah, but why did we need Jeff first? Randy we didn't. Orton? We did not. Uh, if anything, that kind of uh, just just tells you where the matches are going to be in the first round. I guess. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be Miz gonna be versus a, Orton and Jeff Ray versus Ray. Yeah. No, that doesn't make any sense. No, it'd be Ray Jeff versus, versus Miz. Jeff Ray versus Miz, Ray versus Orton. That yeah, would make more sense. I guess. Make more sense. That's and true. And then it would be, was it Jeff versus Ray? I guess. That would be fine. That would be better. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. This whole World Cup thing is just going to be like for the winner of the greatest Royal Rumble. We saw Braun with the trophy and then it got broken on the yep. next Raw. Yep. <laughs> So, but yeah, I mean, SmackDown was not good. No. But again, it's hard, like I said to you, build to a pay per view that you have Sunday where you only have one match coming from your show. Yep. It's mm. uh, not good. No. Not good. There's no pre show? No. Did you want a pre show? No, I just assumed there'd be a pre show. No. It's usually a pre show for pay per views. No. All right, whatever. But, yeah. So, uh,. That was our uh, podcast. Yes. So we will be back to talk about evolution, I guess. We'll do a preview and predictions video. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.